Okay, so let's talk about a library. I like libraries. Even though they're kind of becoming redundant because of the internet. However, they're still quite cool. Anyway, so a library has a list of books. You know, these things, they've got text in the books. Now, this list of books is saved into a single text file. This is my text file. Each line of a text file will contain information about a book. So book one, book two, book three, etc. What other information would we have in our text file about each book? Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so what I'll probably have is the ISBN number, which is like its unique identifier. So if we're talking about databases, this would be our primary key, but we're not talking about databases, but still, it's useful. Title of the book, author. I'd also say number of copies we've got in the library. So I'm gonna do number of copies. Of each book, I probably have date. Yeah, that's probably about it. Unless you've got any really, really good ones. Okay, now what I want you to do is identify the different data types we would have. Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so ISBN actually has some letters in it. So that'll be a string, string, string. You can have date as a string, leaving us with number of copies, which will be an integer. Keep that in mind for later when we're using Python. Okay, for my Python. Okay, my next challenge to you is what can you use to separate well, to add as our separator to make sure that each piece of our information doesn't get jumbled up. We had some questions where it will tell us username has four characters, password is for remaining eight. So that's easiest for us to use slicing, etc. But in this case, what would you use on this? line to act as a separator. Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, I would say asterisk is my go-to. Now what problem do you think we're going to have when we're putting this information into Python? I would say we need to recognize our separator, so when we are reading into Python, we need to look out for the separator. But also, if we're dealing with number of copies, we'll need to turn that into an integer. What I would like you to do is do some pseudocode. The pseudocode is actually going to be going the other way around, where we're going to add a new book to this text file. I also want you to consider the following. Appropriate validation rules for certain fields we've got. So I want you to be able to do so code to add a book to our text file. Give that a go now. So before I begin, I'm just going to identify what validation I'm going to use. Number of copies, I'm probably going to have between the, well, hmm, if I'm adding new lists of books, yeah, I'm going to need zero because what happens if all the books have been taken out to that 10. 
Whatever validation rules can I have? ISBN numbers. I don't know how many numbers are in ISBN. Let's just have a look. It's 13 digits. So I can do a length check. I can do a range check. Also, yeah, I'm not going to bother with a type check at this stage. Okay, so let's get the show on the road. I'm not going to do my declaring until the end because I generally don't know what variables I'm going to use. And I'm going to do my declaring up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the file. And I'm going to call it lib.text. And for write. Let me just get the eraser out. We don't need this here either. We can start here. So there you go. Got a bit more space. All right. So open lib text for right. Okay. Now the first thing I do is get them to input an ISBN. So I'm gonna. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm simply going to do the other inputs. If I can find my pen, so spare with me. There we go. So we need to do input title. input author and input date which I really should validate but I want you to do a validation check for this yourself okay so that's that so far now what we want to do is actually combine all of these fields, sorry, all of these variables, and write them to the text file, but also having a separator with them as well. So, one way you can do it is like this. I'm going to do my declaring here at the end. So, input and my new variable is going to be combined. It's going to equal the variable called ISPN plus speech marks and asterisk plus title Plus another asterisk, you see what I'm doing here, I'm hoping. Plus, so we've got ISBN, blah, 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 blah. I've got no spaces, um, author. So I need this to be my verbal author. Plus, asterisk, plus number of copies. Plus plus date and I'm gonna finish it off with another asterisk. Just trying to think if I need to do that or not. Oh well. and then what we want to do is write this variable to the file. So write file name of the text file lib dot text comma and it's variable called combined and then at the end close the file
lib.text. Okay, I've just realized that some of what I've just done is off the video. So I'm going to scroll across so you can see. There you go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare my variables. So declare title author date as string number of copies oh I forgot ISBN as well as uh, the ISBN title author date and number of copies as an integer and finally this new variable combined which is also a string Now, there's one more thing I need to do, and that is, and this is something which I forgot to do, and it's really important. Number of copies we've already acknowledged is an integer. So what we're gonna do is, before I do, well, after I do my plus, I'm gonna do S, ah, let's find out the pseudocode for string conversion. Hold on. Well, it's not in my appendix, so we're going to go with str, number of copies, like we were doing Python. So I'm turning number of copies into a string. So we've entered it as an integer here. We're now converting it to a string here. It still is an integer when I declare it at the beginning. <laughs> 